Because of coronavirus, Ed and I have been cooped up at home in quarantine, and to be honest, we've just been itching to get out and go herping. And it turns out, Dave from Dave Kaufman's Reptile Adventures has been feeling the same way. And I have been standing here for three weeks waiting for you to get here, just in this spot. Right how there. How fortuitous that you show up to do this oh, intro right here. I am hoping to find a hognose snake on this trip because I've never found a hognose in the wild before. So it would be a lifer for me if we could find that. It'd be amazing. And as you can see, there is six feet in between us. There is a bull snake length. Exactly a bull snake length between us. So today we are going social distance herping. <laughs> Before we head out, we should probably make sure we have all of our PPE gear, right? Agreed. Do we have our masks? Perfect. Got our masks. How about Clorox wipes? Clorox wipes. Nice. What else do we need? Hand sanitizer. Check. What else do we bring? Uh, rubber gloves. Gloves. Boink. Perfect. Got our gloves. Is this too much? Just in case we happen to touch something out, like a gas station pump or whatever, we're protected here. We probably won't use these in the field. This stuff, we're gonna probably go through before and after. I think we're ready. Let's go herping. Emily, Emily, hey. What? Snake. You found one? Look at this little guy. Oh, there he is. Come here, little sweetheart. Oh my gosh. Come here. Uh, I can't get any closer oh, though. Beautiful little guy. Oh my gosh. Uh, if you could only get closer to me, you could see uh, the I want to see him. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. I can All do right. that. Okay, that's as close as I can get. I can see him. Look at that beautiful wow. little snake. This is probably last year's baby. He's probably a yearling. And this time of year when these guys come out of hibernation, they have sores on them, they're all banged up. It's really humid underneath the ground in the rodent burrows where these guys are hibernating. But two or three sheds, those sores, you know, completely heal up and go away. Oh, I wish I could get closer. Can I throw you my camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw okay. me the camera and I'll take photos of them. You okay, here you One, go. One, two, three. Oh, oh, yeah. Nice. Thank you. All right, look at this beautiful snake. So you can see he's got like a dirty spot right there on his head. And on a, if I can get him like this to the other side of his head, you can see one of those little spots that I was talking about where he gets those little sores from being in hibernation. But he's got a really light head for a bull snake. And man, I just love finding these guys. Well, I want to see him too. How can we maintain the distance, but I still get to see the snake? Here, I'll tell you what, this is what I'm gonna do. Okay. I'm gonna try to put the snake down, I will step away, and then I will throw you the camera once you catch the snake. Okay. And actually this way, you're catching the snake and I'm catching the snake. All right. Okay. It could be good, it could be good. All right, here we go, we're gonna try it. I'm gonna put him right by this hole. No, oh, no. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm just gonna actually send him to you. Yeah, come here. There you go. Come here, snake. <laughs> Grab him. Come here, I can't get closer. <laughs> go away, oh, oh, oh. go away. Okay. Nice! Oh I still caught him, and we're still six feet apart! Yes! Oh, I got him too. Oh, he is cute, isn't it, he? Isn't he a beautiful one? Wow. All right, our first find. Our first little bull snake. I know there's a lot of confusion out there between gopher snakes and bull snakes, so to kind of clear that up, bull snakes are a type of gopher snake. They are in the Pitwophis uh, genus. So this is Pitwophis catanifer sei. Do you say sei? Sei, yep. Say I. Say I, yep. Okay. So it's, it's actually P I T U, but it's pronounced Pitchu. So Pitchu. Like Star Wars. Pitchu, Pitchu. All right, little girl, I think, can head back out. Whoa, and she just took off. What'd you find? I would love to come help you, but you know. I can. I live with you. We can get close. Oh, here's our bull snake right here. Oh, yeah. Our bull snake's just sitting right here. And there's our bull snake. And there's your little garter snake. Oh, there's, there's a garter the snake. Oh, he's coming oh, towards you. Towards he's me. over there. Oh, now he's coming oh, over he's here. Coming back towards Emily. Yeah. <laughs> I got him. Nice. Yeah, I got to put down the phone. Hang on. Okay. Oh, this one's got two. Whoa. You're an angry little garter snake. <laughs> oh, look at what's up with this little guy. He's got a kink. Well, or some oh, sort of wound. Nice. He's got a wound right here on his back. Oh. oh. Um, oh. six feet, Dave. Don't get any closer. Yeah. I'm like five and a half. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he is a cutie. So this is a common garter snake. 
just Thamnophis totalis. And uh, they're obviously very common in this area. And uh, you can tell, differentiate these from the plains garters by looking at a couple different things. Their lateral line here, which is the yellow line down the side, is connected pretty much to the belly scutes. On the plains garter snake, the lateral line here is on uh, scale rows three and four, which means there's some black between the lateral line and the belly scutes. So it looks like that line is separated a bit. You can also look at their upper lips. The common garter snake has pretty much solid yellow lips, whereas the plains garter has these very noticeable small like vertical black stripes on its lips. So this is a cute little common garter snake. Ed, throw me the camera. I gotta show everybody this. Look at our little bull snake just curled up in this little tree right here. I've never seen one. Usually they go underground. They go if they find a hole. This one found a little refuge right in the trees here and he's just hanging out. That is cute. Oh, there he goes. Camera you! Yes! I'm gonna let our little garter snake go. Social distancing style. I'll set you back where we found you. Okay. Here you go. Off and away he goes. I've got ticks. I've got ticks on my pants. I've got lots and lots of ticks on my pants. Prairie skink. Sit the camera oh, so okay. you can have both hands. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. <laughs> He's gone. Man, those guys are like greased lightning. Okay, skinky. Oh. Go, Ed. Do it, Ed. Oh. 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 He's right here, but he's like under too much brush to... Oh! Oh, God! And Emily. Oh, oh nice. God! There he is! Beauty! Aww. Got him! Oh, look at that orange chin. That means he's male. Those are male breeding colors. Oh. Well, oh my gosh, I caught him. Nice. That was uh, impressive. Thank you. Ed found something pretty cool. Yeah. So here's a hole that they they go into and you know stay warm or stay cool. And then this guy's been coming out and going straight up over here off to that way. You can see his trick right there. That's so cool. So Emily just caught something over here. Yes! He was biting me! Oh, was it a murder hornet? Was it a grasshopper? It was a grasshopper. Oh. I didn't know they bit. Yeah, they bite. And they also leave goo on your hands generally. He did That's not. Uh, do. <laughs> a bull snake, really? <gasps> oh, I see him! Wow! It's hard to see on camera. Yeah. But he is right there. Big bull snake just sitting in the sun. There he is. Dave is going to try to catch this one. Right up to you! <laughs> oh, nice catch! Oh, wow! Oh, he's angry. Only one hiss. That's not too bad. Yeah, all right. Anybody else here? Oh, there's a garter on the culvert. Dave got the bull snake, but I'm going to catch this garter. You're just going to dip right into the water, aren't you? <laughs> oh, got him. I'll take your bully and raise it. A wiggly, bitey garter snake. I win. <laughs> Yours is bigger. <laughs> Mine's How smellier. Awesome is this? Oh, this one's not happy. Look at those tongue flicks. What are you doing? He is actually a pretty nice garter snake. He's not wiggling too much anymore. He tried to bite me at first, but that was about it. The only blemish I see on this guy is at the very tip of his tail. He has a little kink. So who knows what that's from. Well, we all kind of have a little kink. <laughs> because of that little kink, I give this snake a 9 out of 10. Otherwise, if it didn't have that kink, it would be a perfect 10 out of 10. Nice. I would rate that garter snake. It is really a nice specimen. There's no bungdens, no scars, no whatever. You did mention the tail, but that is a perfect uh, specimen for that species. I'm going to give it a nine and a half out of ten. Ooh, so close to ten. All right, dude, back in the wild. Keep fishing. And now let's check out this bull snake that Dave caught. This is an amazing bull snake. Look at that. And you're also pretty mild tempered too. Come here. No, we're not escaping. 
Dave has the bull snake now, and this is about as close as I can get. Yeah, you know? yeah. And I've got my zoom to the max to check out this guy in your arms. He is just amazing. I love those dark patterns on their faces. I love it, yeah. And, you know, there's some places in Minnesota where, you know, these bull snakes have black saddles all the way down. But in this area of Minnesota, you have the black up towards the front. And other places, you know, in Wyoming or Texas, these guys are real yellow and real brown. They don't get the dark blacks that we have up here in the north. And um, I, I don't know, there's just something about a Minnesota bull snake that is the best looking bull snake out there. Yeah, you can't beat it. Yeah. Okay, I think I've got to give this bull snake a 10 out of 10 because he is in perfect condition, it seems. Uh, I would tend to agree, however, I'm going to give this bull snake a 12 out of 10. Oh! Simply because it is a bull snake, the most awesome snake in the entire world. And there will be no comments in the <laughs> down below that will disagree with me. Well, we're going to let this guy go where we found him, just like the others, and we'll see what else we can find. Awesome. All right, so you're going to have to see the board flip and catch in Dave's video, but we just caught a little prairie skink. Uh oh, I'm doing this one-handed. I don't have help because social I, distancing. I cannot help you. I'm sorry, you can't help. <laughs> you got to stay away. So we found this little girl who is a female because she doesn't have any breeding colors, that orange chin, you know, it's just kind of that gray color. So we've got a female here. We found her under this board with a ton of ants. Do you think she's eating the ants? I think that she's more eating the ant eggs than she's eating the ants. Oh, that um, makes in sense. In a pinch, yeah, they'll eat those ants, but, you know, the ant eggs are easy to catch. Yeah, they don't run away, do right, they? Right, right. <laughs> they're, they're plump, they're juicy, they make a really good meal for these lizards. Wow, so she just has a buffet of ant eggs under yeah. this board. Yeah, and... You know, ants and I don't really get along, <laughs> so she can eat all those eggs she wants. <laughs> That looks like it could be a snake track moving along. Right here, what do you think? Well, that could either be a snake track or this could be our snake here. Oh. And when the wind blows. That's totally it. That's what it did. That is not a snake track. Lame. It's like a windshield wiper. Or eat, or eat, or eat, or eat, or eat. <laughs> but that's what did it. I can't believe we just found a bull snake on the side of this road, or on the road actually. Crazy, look at this one's dark markings on its head and all the way down its body. Wow, that's a cool find. Got another bull snake for the books. Nice. Uh, yep, this is why she was on the road. Yeah, yeah. That's really warm from the sun. Since this one was found on the road, I am gonna release her just a couple of feet away from where we found her because we just don't want her to get hit by a car. Yes! Uh -huh. Oh, trying to make a break for it! <laughs> Where ah. are you going, sweetheart? Oh, your musky! Oh I my was goodness! Ball over you. Look oh, at that. And I killed it. You got mustard. Oh man, look at the. <laughs> yep, sure enough, pooped all over me and then died. Uh, so oh. if, you, if you tickle her belly, maybe his belly, I haven't looked yet, he'll, he'll really. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> There we go. Really Mouth open. <laughs> Look at you. Oh, you are dying. No. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> yeah, I picked you up and then killed you. Yeah. Oh, wait. Look, he's coming back alive. Yeah. Could he Could he be alive? Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. no. Oh. <laughs> you know, Plains hognose snakes really don't. I mean, you know, they do play dead, obviously. He's playing dead. But it's the Easterns that really win the Oscar for the acting that they do when they play dead. So this guy is, yeah, just kind of over it. Have you, have you realized that we're not going to kill you now? <laughs> Hi, buddy. Oh, no, oh. No, 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 no. So deaded. So dead. Oh, even the tongue is out. My goodness. Yes, yes, we see how dead you are. <laughs> well, now that you're out. Oh, that's a boy. That is a boy. Okay, look I at, hadn't looked yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. look at that. That's wow. definitely male. That's a very lucky boy, too. <laughs> look at that nice thick tail. 
Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we just found a plains hognose snake in the wild. This is incredible! So this is the first hognose snake I've ever found in the wild, actually, which means this is my lifer. If you find a species of reptile for the very first time in the wild, that's called your lifer. And I didn't have a lifer hognose yet, so how awesome is that? You have been on my bucket list for quite a while, dude. And I'm so excited we found you! Man, you're pretty chill now. Yeah, see, I'm not gonna eat you. You don't have to play dead. You made me smell really bad, though. Yeah, you were very dramatic. Dave, you need to check out this hognose snake, but how am I gonna Just get it? set her down and I'll come and... Oh, that's right, it's a hognose. Set her down and back away from the hog. Yeah, he's not gonna move very fast. No. Yeah, look at that. All right, he's all yours. Oh, he's coming right toward me. Look at this. Yeah, go to Dave. Look at this. Go to Dave. Hi, buddy. We trained him already. Oh, come here, sweetheart. So this is actually a plains hognose snake, and a lot of people will call these western hognose snakes. Well, western hognose snakes was actually the name given to a group back before taxonomists, which are the people that um, basically name the snake and give it its scientific name. But this was grouped in with a group called western hognose snakes, which involved this plains hognose snake, the Mexican hognose snake, and the dusty hognose snake. Since that group has been broken up and the dusty and the Mexican have been given their full species status, and so has this guy. So the term western hognose did not apply to this one individual species, it applied to the entire group. This has always been known as a plains hognose snake, and since that group again has been broken up, the term western hognose doesn't exist anymore. So these aren't really western hognose snakes, these are plains hognose snakes. I'm curious to see how his belly looks, like the checkering. So I'm going to ruin this shot. <laughs> Let's see. Well, generally they have just really thick, uniform black bellies like that with yeah. just a touch of checkering. Look at that. Oh, he's got a couple of nicks in his belly. Oh, nothing, yeah. Nothing too bad, though. A few sheds and that should clear up. Well, I'm going to release this little cutie back right where I found him. Oh, but first, uh, what should we rate him? What do you rate him out of 10? He is a big, beautiful, chunky, healthy adult male. I'm going to rate him uh, eight and a half out of 10. And the only reason why he lost a point and a half was that little bunged in that he has on his side. Makes sense. Gotcha. I'm going to give him a, I'll go up a half a point. I'll go nine out of 10. He only misses a point because he must all over me and now my hand <laughs> smells pretty bad. Worth it though. There you go, dude. Enjoy the wild. All right, social distancing high five. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I can't believe how many reptiles we found today. The, today was like the perfect day to be out here. It was. The, the perfect day. Weather was absolutely perfect. We saw some amazing critters. And most of all, we found my very first plains hognose snake in the wild. And like I said, I found hundreds, maybe even close to a thousand of those out here. Well, now you're just bragging. Finding that one for you, though, that was the very, very best one. That was the amazing. It was so exciting. So there we go. I'd say it was a successful herping day. Total. Social distance herping so, day. Yeah. This, I'm literally like maybe eight feet behind her. This is, this is forced perspective. Yeah, he's really 20 feet tall, but he looks that short because he's so far away from me. Totally. Mm -hmm. Well, don't forget to check out Dave Kaufman's Reptile Adventures on YouTube. And thank you for like joining me and like doing this together. This absolutely pleasure we're this gonna have to like we're gonna have to like make this into like an emily and dave herping club and there we go. go to other places around and well we did the timber definitely. rattlesnake video we did the timber rattlesnake which i'll link at the end of this video in case you want to find a timber rattlesnake and who knows what's to come next fox snakes racers Ooh, that'd be cool there's a ton of stuff here that we can find well thank you to all of our patreon backers as well for supporting this channel we are very appreciative of all of that support and thank you to everyone just watching our videos i hope you enjoyed today's reptile adventure and we'll see you next time. Rattle on. Oh, get him, get him, get him. He's gone. What would you rate this garter snake based on what I've described? Because you can't see it, but. Oh, this bull snake wants to film. Well, we're going to let him go. We found him by the water here. He's probably fishing. Oop, I just turned, turned the screen onto me. <laughs> uh, oh, here, wait, wait, wait. Edit, edit. Where's the turnaround thingy? Go on, Kerr. So the word, so, uh, Be cooperative. Yes, be cooperative, please, wild animal. Okay. <laughs>